good morning and happy Friday. Today is the 11th of March and as it's Friday, it's my weigh-in day. So I am coming on to um, update what my weight is and also let you all know how I've been feeling and getting on this week on my weight loss journey. Um, so this week has been a little bit of a weird one. I'm going to start off by talking about my tracking and my calories. So um, if we what I will do is insert a screenshot of my NutriCheck week where I'm very, very happy and excited to share that it is all green ticks. So from Friday through to yesterday, I have been on or under my calorie goal. Um, so I am super duper happy about that. Um, I really like to look back and reflect and see that full week of green ticks. And that's one of the... Um, I know when I was using my fitness pal, I did have like a graph and you know, it would show you where you've gone over, but I just feel like this format is just more visually pleasing to look at and see that you've got a tick. There's something about a tick that I feel psychologically really works with uh, humans. So yeah, super, super happy about that. Um, I have found this week more difficult than last. I think just naturally when you start something new and fresh, you have um, a lot more motivation to stick to it. So this week it has been a little bit more difficult in areas. Uh, I think more on the like emotional side of eating more than anything else. I've just found myself sort of like, the kind of idea has been in my head to maybe eat when I'm not hungry but thankfully I've managed to stay strong and when I have wanted to do that I've sort of looked at my calories and gone have I got calories left yes I have so what can I eat within my sort of like allowed foods I don't like to think of foods as like um banned or banished or <laughs> bad foods, good foods, that kind of thing. But I am, I am being quite restricted with some certain foods um, for like the greater good uh, without getting into it in too much detail. If you are completely new here, it'll probably be beneficial to go back and watch sort of like my uh, weighing video from two weeks ago because I kind of explain why I'm doing that and last week. But yeah, so I would make myself uh, maybe a fruit salad or a salad or some tuna or some form of protein and veggies um, Eat that and realize I am actually full. I'm satisfied. I'm not hungry It's just kind of that desire to eat creeping back in um, But like I said, I have obviously I've tracked every day I have um, I've been doing okay with my Carbohydrates uh, there's been a couple of days where I went over, I went over on the weekend, not with any sort of like great massive amount, but um, sort of 30 to 40 grams over on carbs a couple of days, but I'm managing to rein that back in. Yesterday I was under my carbs and I'm hoping to do that today and just try my hardest with that, but um, I think naturally the carbohydrate goal is going to fluctuate a little bit here and there um, as long as I'm eating the right kinds of carbohydrates as long as I'm not going over by you know eating a loaf of bread if I'm going over my carbohydrate goal because I'm feeling a bit hungry and I'm craving an apple or I'm craving you know some veggies or things like that and they some fruits and veggies are quite naturally high in carbs and that's fine you know I'm not going to deny myself an apple so I think all in all it's been a really great week where calories and tracking are concerned I'm still really enjoy enjoying using the NutriCheck app Um, things that I have been eating this week I had to sort of like I think it was one of my first salads of the year yesterday I must have had another salad at some point but um I feel like as the weather is getting slightly warmer, I am starting to crave salad some more. And I really love that about sort of spring, summer time. So I made a really tasty salad. Um, I had steak with a little bit of rice. 
and some broccoli i've had like grilled chicken and mediterranean vegetables all really delicious stuff still having lots of protein shakes um just fruit and I'm, I'm i'm like grabbing more fruit than i usually would i'm craving a lot of fruit as well um like i'm finding myself like when i go when i'm going out to work or when i'm going out of the house uh, for a long period of time i'll fill up like um a little what are they called what are they called like a little tupperware of um berries um i'll grab a banana and an apple stick them in my bag and yeah been really enjoying that uh in terms of exercise i went to the gym this week let me just have a look and find out when that was because i cannot for the life of me remember so i'll just grab my apple watch up i've been um doing the odd walk here or there as well i went for a, i went to the gym on monday and i did a nice swim and i did um like an interval uh hill walk run kind of thing uh, i basically worked out on monday at the gym um on tuesday i had a walk and then on Wednesday I went skating and this is where it kind of, yeah, deviates a little bit. So Wednesday night I went skating, which I absolutely class as a workout because it, it does really work your body. And some of you may remember from a couple of weeks ago where I fell over and um hit my leg and ended up with a really great big bruise on the side of my leg that healed and it's fine it's still a little bit tender but nothing nothing to be too concerned about um and on wednesday on wednesday evening towards sort of like the start of the um the session I fell over on a ramp and sort of like knocked my leg. It wasn't like a really bad fall. It wasn't anything that I, I was concerned about. Um, I actually, as I fell, I hit my hand on the ground and I don't know if you can tell it's slightly bruised, um, but that was the thing that was hurting throughout the evening. My leg wasn't really sore. Um, I was just throughout the evening thinking, oh, my, ha my hand is quite, I think I've sprained my hand a little bit, it's quite sore, but I, don't, I wasn't, I didn't notice my leg at all. Initially, it just felt like I kind of gave myself a bit of a dead leg, but it wasn't like really painful. And I didn't fall on it like enough to be concerned or anything either. Like it wasn't like I had a really bad fall and thought, oh, I better like check myself and make sure I'm okay or anything like that. It honestly wasn't anything. I, it really wasn't that bad. Um, so then I skated for about four hours and when I was getting ready to leave I sort of put my hand down my side and felt my leg and realised that it was, it just didn't feel right, it felt re really really swollen and I was like that is really strange and obviously putting pressure on it I was like oh actually it's quite tender, that's really odd. So then I took off my skates and put my shoes on um, to go. And as I and as I started walking, I realised actually my leg was quite painful. And I was like, what on earth is going on here? So I was really confused. I, I didn't really understand it, but I could feel that there was a ridiculous amount of swelling there. And by this point, walking, um, it, it hurt to put sort of like pressure on my leg and I, it, my leg hurt. Um, so then when I got home... I looked and it was really swollen really significantly swollen so much so I was like I was concerned that it was gonna burst at some point so I was just like this is crazy so uh, Jim advised me to put like some ice on it so I got some peas out of the freezer and sat for a couple of hours um, with it raised and some ice on went to bed it was really sore and um I managed to sleep quite well. I got up the next day and it was just so painful. So much so I couldn't even really sit. Like I'm sort of half sat on my um, on my desk at the moment, but I, I just couldn't sit down, I couldn't stand up. Any, any, basically anything that I did, it was painful. And basically, a long, long, long story, rambly story short, 
it it is all about the lip edema that's why this is happening um i bruise anyway on my legs any slight knock anything um i get i i, I bruise quite significantly um like i said the fall that i had on wednesday wasn't sufficient to or deserving of the of what's happened it's because that the reason it happens is because of the lip edema. I can't go into the ins and outs of why because I haven't been told and then there's not really anyone that can tell me why. Um, I might at some point go to the doctors but I'm just not in the right frame of mind to go and um, talk to a doctor about it because I'm just so emotionally drained by this condition right now. So maybe at some point I will because it is it is frustrating because to me it's really impacting my life and uh, and sort of stopping me from doing certain things that I really want to do for instance like I'm really loving getting back into skating for so many reasons um and I just feel like maybe I shouldn't just because if I have the slightest fall it, it really um damages my legs so i don't know that's something i've got to, i've got to consider i'll insert um i might have already done it but you know I'll, I'll at some point put clips in of what i'm referring to so you can see but basically i've got a huge uh, hematoma on the side of my leg and it's very very sore i'm not very happy about it and i was intending on getting up on thursday morning and going and working out at the gym but there was just no way it's not an excuse guys there was just no way that i could have done that um hopefully by i'm gonna give myself um until monday i might do some sort of like i've got some weights so i'll probably do some like arm weights or something um i'm sure this won't impair that but i'll do something to be active over the weekend i'm not going to use it as a total excuse but yeah and that just really i did i did film of um i did vlog on thursday i made a what i eat in a day i didn't upload it thursday evening because i was just so emotionally drained by the evening i just didn't have the energy to do it so i will i will either upload that today or over the weekend um but i think that is a perfect reflection of sort of my emotional state and how I was feeling about it I'm definitely feeling better in terms of I'm not I'm not feeling so sort of down about the whole thing now I think it's still it's still affecting me and I am still really frustrated and I and I really wish that this condition didn't exist and I didn't have to deal with it but I do and I think towards the end of the vlog um, I was talking about how I'm just going to try and use it as motivation to try and get healthier and get fitter and get stronger and just fight lipedema and not let it hold me back and just do anything that I can do in my power to make sure that I'm not, um, that I'm making it better and I'm not worsening the condition because I do think diet has a huge part to play in, um, with sort of like medical conditions and health so it's all the more reason to carry on this journey and to make it successful so that was on Thursday you know I was a bit down and stuff but um one thing is for sure that I didn't let my emotions get the better of me and I didn't sort of eat all my emotions away so that that's a really huge positive to take away from um that situation on wednesday i didn't actually i did intend on having some dinner by the time i got home but the whole sort of like um the pain in my leg was so painful that i just it took away my appetite i wasn't hungry um so i didn't end up eating so i did actually have quite an under calorie day on wednesday um it wasn't it wasn't a conscious thing um so i think i had yeah i was a few hundred calories under my goal which 
like I said, it's not conscious, it was just, it just happened. So, moving on to my weigh-in, I have actually been weighing in here or there throughout the week. I'm just trying to gauge an idea of um, how my body naturally fluctuates, like what my weight is day to day. Um, so I weighed in this, in fact I'll just, just get up my app. So, makes it a bit easier. So next, uh, last week I weighed in at 14 stone 11 pounds, which was a 3.4 pound loss from the week previous. And this week I have weighed in at 14 stone 9.4, which I'm really happy about because that is a loss of 1.6 pounds. So I'm super duper happy about that. Um, I did actually weigh in yesterday at um a lower weight <laughs> i'm not gonna like go into it and be like yeah wait this on tuesday this on wednesday and blah 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 because it's it's just pointless um so i don't know whether because i didn't overeat yesterday i didn't i wasn't i was under my calories um be it by like 30 calories or something but i was and um yeah, so I don't know I don't know uh what that's about, but I'm not gonna overthink it. Um it's still a loss this week and that is all that matters is that it's going in the right direction. So 1.6 pounds down from last week and I'm so happy about that. And thinking ahead to the new week, I'm really hoping that come Monday my leg is feeling much better and um I'm able to go to the gym because I do want to start working out um working out more alongside being on it with my tracking and my calories i have actually just received this book through the post which is the anti-inflammatory diet for beginners it's a no stress meal plan with easy recipes to heal the immune system and it's actually a really lovely book um i'm really really excited to read it it goes i mean i know a lot about um inflammation to begin with but you know there's nothing wrong with making yourself more informed and learning more things so it basically starts off with sort of going through the basics of an anti-inflammatory diet and um how inflammation helps and harms principles of the inflammation anti-inflammatory diet it's got guidelines so I just thought you know what at some point over this weekend I'm going to sit down with a couple of herbal tea and read that book and just um, get some good ideas for some new recipes and just make myself a bit more informed because um, I am some, the diet that I've created is based around the principles of anti-inflammatory. It um, takes a lot of sort of uh, principles from the paleo diet and the low GMI diet and you know my lipedema nutrition guide it's basically all sort of like combined from principles of them um but i just thought this looks a really lovely book and i would get some really good ideas for some new meals and learn a little bit more about inflammation because that's what i'm trying to combat so all in all a very a very successful week for my weight loss journey a little bit turbulent in terms of mental health and emotions and uh struggling a little bit with sort of like navigating my health and things that you know are, are somewhat out of my control and trying to sort of do the right thing surrounding that but I definitely feel like I'm on the right track I 100% feel like I am on the right diet plan now for me i feel like this is going to continue to work i'm still feeling very strong and very motivated every day i'm like yeah i can do this i can do this i don't want like the option of having sandwiches or things like that are always there but i'm still happy to say no and i'm still happy to stick to the foods that i've uh, like set out for myself to eat so that's really good this weekend is a family party on tomorrow night, which I'm very much looking forward to. I'm still 
I'm still not drinking. I'm still doing really well with that. Not smoking, not drinking. Um, and tomorrow night, I have not decided. I'm, I'm definitely tracking. And I'm definitely going to stick to my calorie goal. Um, I, I've got a good idea of the foods that are there. And I know that I can make it work for my plan. So I'm just going to do my best to do that. Um, I might have a piece of cake. I'm going to see how I feel tomorrow. It's been two weeks of um, being totally on plan. So I feel like tomorrow when I'm at this party, if I do fancy a piece of cake or maybe a little piece of bread or something like that, then um, I am going to allow myself, but we'll see, just see how I feel, maybe I won't want it at all, so it's fine. Um, and I know that I haven't filmed very much this week, which I'm very aware of, uh, I do definitely want to get into filming on a more regular basis, I know that I spoke a little bit about sort of like doing maybe more of a diary format. Um, I'm going to try and film over the weekend um, and then going into next week I am going to I am gonna do my best to like film or update on a more regular daily basis as well so yeah that's it really. Um, I hope that if you guys have had a weigh in this week that it's gone really well. If it hasn't don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, weight fluctuates you know if you can pinpoint the reasons as to where it's maybe gone wrong this week then that's something to work on and look forward look look ahead at try not get stuck in a rut try and plan and reset for this next week ahead um but yeah i'm gonna wrap it up and leave it there and i hope that you have enjoyed watching today's video if you have please give me a thumbs up because it really does make me smile i have actually been really struggling this week with feeling sort of less than and um my place on youtube and my place on instagram and things like that just feeling i don't know a little bit i've been stuck in a bit of a comparison trap and um whatnot so if you could give me some love by subscribing and popping up your phone and leaving me a comment it really really would mean the absolute world to me just to give me a little boost of confidence um but i'm sending all my love to you guys and until next time i hope that you all are staying happy healthy and well and i love you all bye bye